From individual disturbances in public places to displaying violence and a defiant attitude toward the law. New Jack! Really? You want to do that? Yeah. They might attempt to leverage their social power or social status to impose their opinions or intimidate law enforcement agencies. I'm in nursing school! All of you, every single one of you. You're men, trespassed, so you have to leave now. Women. However, as the heavy iron doors of the prison cell clang shut behind them, those individuals vested with authority are forced to confront a reality they have long sought to avoid. And these are the typical suspects for today's video. How will they face these situations? You're a prick! I, I know. You're a f***ing womanizer! What? You're a rapist! Really? You want to do that? Yeah! Cool. Good try. Good try, bitch! Gosh. Amidst the chaos of a Florida evening on March 26, 2023, Nicole emerges as the central figure, a quintessential example of an entitled, drunken Karen in her early 30s. Known for her erratic and domineering behavior, Nicole's night of indulgence took a perilous turn. What began as a routine bar visit soon spiraled into an unforgettable spectacle of entitlement where boundaries were blurred and consequences loomed ominously. Nicole, you have five seconds to go or I'm arresting you for disorderly conduct. You can put that on your camera. Go, two, Drop your phone. There we go. Stop. Bitch. Stop. Stop. You're okay, you're gonna rip it. Stop. You're breaking your arm. No. There we go, you're doing great. Yep, you're just not listening. In the dimly lit atmosphere of the bar, Nicole's defiance reached an unprecedented peak as she believed she was untouchable. However, amidst the tension, a palpable sense of unease still lingered in the air. What will happen next in this risky confrontation? You're going to jail for disorderly conduct, okay? Or we have your purse. Would you like your friend to have it? So God, as soon as you grab her, he... He's like, yeah, nope. Let go of my No, she's going to jail. He yeah. ran off. No, he's, he's right like, there. We're not holding your hair. He's holding your hands. Holding You're him. a prick! I, I know. You're a f***ing womanizer! What? You're a rapist! Is that an insult? Is it? Okay. I don't know. New Jack! Really? You want to do that? Yeah. Cool. Good try. Gosh. Fucking. You know what, bitch? Okay, you're both going to jail. You're both going to jail. That's right. Nicole and her friend were arrested by the police after they caused a disturbance at the bar. While her friend seemed much calmer, Nicole's aggression didn't stop there. The situation is getting worse than ever before. <laughs> that's a threat. Yeah, I want to get a female to search her real quick. Oh, that, that's not mine. Oh. Don't do that. Come on, you're being silly. Yeah, Give me my <laughs> Let go of me. I don't want you spitting on me. Let go of me, you abusive bitch. I don't want you Let's go. I don't want you spitting on me. You'll be charged. Well, actually, you're you're getting the charge. Did she spit on you? She didn't have any saliva. Because you got small oh. wrists. I want to make sure. Let go, you oh. abusive bitch! I've been married to the FBI. You don't work for the FBI. Oh, you want that? All right, don't sit in the FBI. Get in the car. You don't know. Sit in. You ain't privileged. Okay. Stop. 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 Will you stop fighting? Why are you so angry? Because you're in a. Okay, watch your foot. Watch your foot. Watch your foot. Now you're gonna get tied. Stop. Stand up. Good fighting going on today. So Absolutely, we're gonna... sir. Thank you for being slightly more quiet. <laughs> or, well, uh, there we go. Nicole's behavior is becoming increasingly uncontrollable forcing the police to make appropriate decisions for the situation. Make shit up, make shit up. No, because you're acting, you're acting out of control. You're acting out of control. Where's your ID at? Don't worry about it, you lost my f***ing ID. No. These 
Oh, my head down. Yeah, you're spitting on yourself. Else. No, cross your legs. No, no. Thank you. All the way. Abuse! Abuse! There we go. Police abuse! Help me! After stabilizing Nicole in the patrol car, a female officer was called in to conduct a body search on her, hoping that Nicole's attitude might change. However, when the door was opened, Nicole's reception of the female officer was beyond their expectations. Maybe she'll like you. What's going on, Nicole? Okay, can you step out? What the f*** do you want, you f Oh, she is? Because she's kicking and spitting, so... Okay. Kicking and spit... What are you taking my vapes for? How many vapes you got? Two! What do you know about f***ing... F***ing, uh... Yeah. Fuck. What are you touching my bra for, you rapist bitch? Touch me, bitch. Do me a favor. What do you know about fucking human fucking traffic? What do you know about fucking, uh, anything about anything? Nicole faced the consequences of her actions. She was charged with disorderly conduct. Nicole's actions were not only disrespectful towards the police, but also unsafe and unwarranted in communication and dealing with others. Nicole's actions were unacceptable. Nevertheless, she has faced consequences for her rudeness. What do you think about the charges brought against her? Do you think they were appropriate given her previous attitude towards the police? Please share your thoughts on this case in the comments below. While Nicole decided to stir up trouble for herself by causing a disturbance at the bar, the next individual escalated the situation further by challenging the patience of the officers. Sit in the car, please. I've asked you multiple I need times. A supervisor right now. Sit in the car. I'm not saying another word from you. Put your hands He's behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. What's going on over there? Oh! <laughs> Let go of your phone so it doesn't break. The incident revolves around this girl who thought she could bully the police without facing any consequences. On June 2, 2023, an officer observed a white Mercedes speeding in a 45 miles per hour zone. Despite attempts to approach safely, the Mercedes continued to accelerate. Suddenly, the Mercedes made a right turn, drawing the attention of the officer as it veered into the driver's lane. Subsequently, the officer was able to initiate a traffic stop. Hi, you know why I'm stopping you? No. You know what the speed limits are? Because I've been trying to catch up to you since Seminole Boulevard. I don't even know where Okay. So when you're on Seminole Boulevard, before you get to the triangle, then you go off to Madeira Beach, and then you go around, and then you made your right-hand turn. The driver behind the wheel, identified as a 22-year-old nursing student. It's hard to understand. The girl still tried to act like she didn't know what had happened after speeding beyond the limit. But what she's about to face for this matter is still ahead of her. When I... When I go over the bridge you're talking about? Before that. So on Seminole Boulevard and 68th Avenue. And then you continued at a high rate of speed over the bridge, the Tom Stewart Causeway, the drawbridge there. I use my cruise control over half the time, and I, I don't even understand right now. Like, if I was speeding, like, why wouldn't if you, like, if I was speeding all the way over there, which I wasn't, like, how? Because I can't drive recklessly to I put other people in officer, danger to put up with you. Can have... you please have a seat back in your vehicle for me, please? Please. please. Yeah. Speeding is a dangerous behavior and can lead to serious consequences. The consequences can cause harm not only to oneself but also to others on the road. Furthermore, violating traffic laws by speeding can also lead to serious legal consequences such as license suspension, hefty fines, or even imprisonment. At the same time, this behavior can also impact the reputation and career of the student, potentially resulting in negative consequences in the future. Therefore, it is crucial to be aware of the consequences of unsafe driving behaviors and to adhere to traffic rules to ensure safety for oneself and others on the road. However, the girl believed that being a nursing student would help her avoid being arrested. With this mindset, she only made the situation worse. Hey, I gotta call my dad. I'll talk to you later. No, I don't even understand. I've literally been home. 
Just stop. I need to call my dad, and then I need to call my lawyer, because this is literally ridiculous. Nagato, you copy a 28. New York Hotel X-Ray Foxtrot 7033 on a white Mercedes. All right, can I have your registration and insurance, please? I'm pretty sure my registration is in the house. My dad drives this car. Okay. What's your father's name? <laughs> Okay, so I have a seat in the car, please. I'm, I'm on our. Can you just look at our? I will, just please. Okay. I'm just times now because this is a traffic stop. I'm at my house. I told you to sit in the car. Sit in the car, please. I've asked you multiple I need a times. Supervisor right now. Sit in the car. I'm not saying another word from you. Put your hands He's behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. What's going on over there? Oh! <laughs> Let go of your phone so it doesn't break. I got it. You want to do this? Ow! 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 I'm gonna literally sue this idiot <laughs> Call our lawyer right now! Right now, my dad! Oh, Ow, you're really hurting my fucking arm! Don't move! Oh, she threw her- Mama, she threw her body cam- She threw her body cam on the ground! Why did you throw your body cam on the ground? The girl was arrested after multiple attempts to resist the lawful orders of the officer. However, this nursing student still failed to realize the seriousness of the situation. Oh my god, I've never experienced this in my full life. I'm house this entire time. Yo, you pulled your body. Guess what? You should turn it on because you literally pulled your body camera off on Ma'am, because you were resisting, it knocked it off. And don't worry, my car camera recorded everything. I record it. I requested a super over 10 minutes ago. Tell me your supervisor's name. Sergeant Tacy. What is your name and your badge number? I'm in nursing school. And if you would have complied, you wouldn't be in this position. Are you, are you her supervisor? I've been pulled into my house. She said I was speeding all the way in something called Seminole Boulevard. I've never seen her car. She wasn't. I've been pulled into my driveway and she pulled in my neighborhood, told me to get out of the car. Get her out. Not your body camera off. Yes, my car how many times? I don't understand what is happening. Like, I don't understand why she had to be so aggressive. I, like, what is this? Ma'am, I've explained it to you multiple times. I got out of the car to give you my my registration. You have a seat in the car. You were on your phone. No, I said I'm about to get in the officer. Your body camera, It was if it was even on the whole time. At this point, the girl persisted in her belief of entitlement and continued to make accusations against the police. It seems she may be fearing something. Now, she finds herself facing charges of obstruction and resisting arrest. But the legal troubles don't stop there. When the police detected the smell of marijuana and decided to search the car. Get back in the car one second. My dad wants to say something to you. He was on speakerphone and you threw my phone on the ground. And now you don't have anything to say. Like I'm literally 22. What do you mean? Just because you told me to, I, t I was getting in my, I got in my car when you told me and I gave it to you. I got out of the car and I handed you my registration. I explained to you multiple times. And you did not comply. Pick me up at the, what, if you're arresting me for real, like, please, like. Yeah, your phone will come with you. Like, I'm getting in trouble. Like, like, I don't know what this even means. I don't know what getting, like, seriously, like, what does arrested mean? Like, what is my arrest? What am I getting arrested for, though? Can you Obstruction. I gave you multiple lawful commands. You did not follow them. I literally told you my dad is on speaker. I'm about to get in the car. And then you got out of the car and I told you to get back in the car and you wouldn't. Ma'am, literally, please, like, I'm not, like, I'm not even trying to, like, lie. Like, you literally told me to get in the car. I don't, I literally uh -huh. don't. You got it? During the car search, the officers discovered marijuana, and it was evident that our main character did not possess a medical marijuana card. 
The consequence was her arrest and placement in jail, where her reaction became even more hostile. This unlawful behavior has added to her existing charges, creating another layer of complexity to her already difficult situation. I'm begging you! What's happening now? Your vehicle's being searched. For what? The odor of marijuana. No, like, seriously. Like, I don't. I'm serious. Like, I'm a good Christian. Do you have a medical marijuana card? I was in the process of getting one in New York, but, like, I don't, like, I haven't, like, been... And he's the one who usually drives that car, so I really don't even know why you're asking. I don't even know. What is she doing? Evidence bags? Like, I'm so con I'm so confused. Yeah, that was on, uh, that was in the back seat. So. Uh, so. Thank you, gentlemen. <sighs> We're here? Ah, uh, the van's gonna come pick you up. The van, like, are there gonna be, like, other, like, criminals in there? Potentially. Stop. Just relax. I'll pull her relax. I have two months left of nursing school, and now this is gonna be on my record. I won't even, even if I get the NCLEX, I can never even work why, with why it. Why would you be able to take that? Because if I have a misdemeanor or anything, they don't let me. Well, back to the matter. <laughs> I know multiple people who are yeah. in the medical field who have <laughs> felony charges. Yeah, All right, well, look look it up. I swear to God, look it up online. The National Board Nursing yes. Exam, if you have any. Back to, back to the matter being. <laughs> look at me right now. You're gonna get yourself stirred up. How do you? I know, but fact of the matter being, these things generally don't go anywhere and they throw them out. Finally, her obstruction charge has been dropped. Her speeding charge, 15 to 19 over the limit, was upheld. This serves as a reminder that traffic laws, including speed limits, apply universally to all individuals regardless of their profession or mode of transportation. Looking back, she is indeed fortunate that the situation did not escalate further considering the potential consequences of her actions against the law. If you find the reaction of this young girl excessive, brace yourself for our next case. On April 28, 2023, in Florida, officers responded to a disturbance at a Circle K convenience store, expecting a routine disagreement. Little did they know, they were about to encounter a woman in her mid-30s, who believed she was entitled to get what she wanted when she wanted it. This incident wasn't just a simple argument over change, it was a dramatic showcase of someone who believed they were above the law, ready to challenge authority at every turn. Well, I have no I have no I have no problem. 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 I have no I Slap my hand, spilled my coffee all over the counter. Okay, we're, we're gonna go over all that. Register that it'll be changed for a hundred. Is the only way you have to pay is the hundred? Yes, Are that's all I got. I'm on E, I spent fifty dollars. Okay. I've worked here for three years at Circle change. K. They can break my change, that's bullshit. And I'm not disrespectful, girl. I'm not violent. I've never been in trouble a day in my freaking life. I heard them say to the other Mexicans, they were trying to get like eight dollars worth of stuff. We can't break your hundred. Cool. I'm on E. He gives me the stuff. He says, I can't break the hundred. I just open up my drawer. I said, well, I have no problem waiting for change. I got to pump gas anyway. Take your shit. It smacks my hand, spills my coffee all over the counter. I said, I'm not leaving. I have all of the shit in my hand. So what, you can say I stole it? I'm on E, I'm not going anywhere. The woman strode into Circle K with determination, splashed a $100 bill for her purchase. As she demanded immediate service, her frustration grew, feeling entitled to privileges with each passing moment. Unbeknownst to her, the situation was about to escalate drastically. And then he starts screaming at like a crazy person. Of course I'm offended. You just went like this and smacked my shit. Yes, and go back home to my baby. What the f is wrong with these people? They don't like their job? So they can treat people like this? Uh, is this uh, theirs? That's a free thing at the counter. I got this. Okay, this, this, and this. You haven't pumped gas yet? No. I'm not going anywhere, I'm on E. So the gentleman that says he didn't have change, whatever, obviously you're not going to be able to purchase the items from here today. So how am I going to get gas? I can't make it. Fumes. Stinky okay. fumes. Okay. Even if you don't make it, I'll, I'll push you the rest me. of the way, right. if, if I have to. Can I get Go the on. camera footage? Because I want to press charges. Just one second. Back in the middle, make sure 
name Shannon? Tango 1 has it. I'm out with the other uh, 10 12. To accurately understand what happened, the police need to gather information from both sides and other relevant witnesses. While they were investigating the information, the woman began to lose control, continuously making accusations against the store employees. All right, so as far as charges go, well, you know, if, if you're saying that he battered you, he's saying that what happened was you knocked the stuff over while trying to grab it. We're going to be reviewing the camera footage. Go ahead. Then we'll see what hands we got. Both hands, him going like yeah. this is putting hands on me. Okay. Well, you know, if he's grabbing his property Spilling back. Spilling hot coffee all over my okay. hand. Right. Uh, I understand. All right. That's what, that's what this officer is investigating. Ridiculous. For nothing. It's not just for you. It is. He's surrounded. He's the psycho here attacking a woman. Okay. Then he walked after me like this all up in the store. I know. Psychopath. Listen. This isn't okay. Hey, what you're doing right now? No, it's not okay, but I'm already embarrassed. It, I did nothing wrong. In literally. The you're the, you're the, okay? listen, you're the I only one. Oh, you're the only one who's drawing leave. attention to yourself. Can I leave? No. We, I told you we have to review the footage, okay? I don't got time for that. Well, let's go talk over here so you're not in front of all these It's embarrassing. Yeah, that's why we're going over here. I heard the other lady helping other, the Mexicans at her register. For some reason, every Mexican in the world has a $100 because they're trying to buy $8 worth of shit, okay? Not my problem. Exactly why I didn't go to her register, I went to the next guy. A few other things came out to 50 something dollars. Half of the $100 bill, there's no way you're telling me you don't have 40 something dollars in your drawer, guy. Whatever you need to do, I can't leave. I need gas. He said, take your stuff, handed me the coffee, the tickets, and everything. I was like, really? When facing the police, she immediately portrayed herself as the victim, accusing that she had been treated unfairly and disrespectfully. However, there's more to the story. She went as far as demanding to press charges against the clerk for an alleged assault. At first glance, her claims might seem legitimate, but the situation takes a drastic turn when the security camera footage is reviewed. Knowing I wasn't going anywhere, all I did was step back. He says I'm calling the cops once he realized how stupid he is and told me to leave with everything. And he stood with the other female in front of the door, blocking me in. No time was I trying to leave. He was on the phone with the cops, holding me in here, but won't give me the shit I need. It makes no sense. I'm gonna, I already talked to him a little bit. I just wanted to talk to you first. Oh, uh, and when he was doing all this, between handing me this, I don't think, but like this with my hand and spilled my coffee all over. So you can probably see that on camera. He had the footage up. Got it? Yeah, he didn't touch her. So basically what happened was, the stuff's on the counter, so I don't have change for it. You can leave. He throws the tickets back down on the counter. She snatches them. She goes, I guess you're giving these for me, to me for free then. I'm taking them. He goes, no. And he tried to grab the coffee back. And then she's like, don't touch me anything else. He never touched her. He's got a cute. Yeah. It's queued up. Go okay. grab a look. I appreciate it. Thanks. They'll probably want her to trespass. Yeah. I would assume. I'll let you hang out with her. She's really... The police discovered that the woman's account didn't match the footage. Her narrative of being a victim began to crumble, revealing patterns of entitlement and exaggeration. But the story doesn't end here. There's another twist awaiting. Nothing. It's bullshit. I want the footage. You got press and charges as soon as all the shit is over. I burnt to death with that goddamn coffee because I kept telling him to back away from me, put his hands on me. Self-defense, dude. Burn him for his face for the rest of his life for being a piece of shit. Profile. Does that have tattoos? You need seven cops. You keep adding how many cops were here. It was two. There was five or six cops. No, there was me and Matini, and the two in there is a trainee with his trainer. Whatever. Okay. It's embarrassing. Hey, well, it's scary. Can you explain this? Hey, you do me a favor. If I'm on the road and we get a call saying that there's a physical disturbance at Circle K. And there's not. He oh. was physical, not me. Bullshit. I watched the footage. Yeah, did I hit him? No, you said you were going to steal their property. No, I did not. Hey, did, did I give you the... He handed it to me. I have nothing. Yeah, I gave him back. He sent him on the counter. You grabbed him and said, these no, are mine he, now. Did you They're hear free. what he said? He hey, said, he, take he said, it leave. off. It doesn't Do matter. The did point I is, walk out with it? Does that make me a thief? I'm not saying you're a thief. What I'm saying left. is, you they grabbed it? The cops right, got here. There was, there was no crime today. Can I give today? you guys free coffee? Is that what this is about? Yo, what is your deal? What is your deal? You're sitting you're here screaming at everybody. Things. No, you just said... to pay for all my shit. You said you were going to walk out. Did I leave? You said, this is free then, it's mine. I said, so what you're telling me is to take this stuff. Is that wrong? By asking him, so what you're telling me is to take this for free? My coffee, my donuts, my tickets? Hold on. Because they blocked me I'm from the listen, door. Did I'm you see that? I, at what point did he hit you? Do you see on the on the thing when he, when whatever we were 
fucking switching hands with this shit. Coffee spilled on the counter. Did you not see that? When he reached when together. he reached for the coffee cup? Let's watch it together. No. Okay. So I can leave? No, no not ID. yet. You guys didn't do shit for me. Give You're me gonna... your ID and let me out of here, dude. He has your ID. You're gonna leave your ID? That guy dumped a hot ass coffee on my hand, switching hands. I can... And you're telling me there's nothing that could be done? I will get your ID if Russell. you Despite clear evidence contradicting her, our main character remained adamant in claiming that she had been treated unfairly. Keep following the story to see how she will face this situation. Let's get a better close up of her piece of shit who burned me with the coffee because he couldn't take Listen, the reason you back off. You're gonna wind up going to jail for disturbing. Fuck you, dude. Go. Give me my ID so I He's can leave. Now go to your car. Worry about the piece of shit who fucking spilled hot coffee on me. Can we complain for that? You're gonna wind up going to jail. I don't give a fuck, dude. Wait, You're your a car. piece of He'll shit with for you. this. Go. As soon as he's done with this paperwork, you'll get it. Paperwork. I won't be back. Okay. Can I have my ID, please? She understands the trespass. Give her ID yeah. back. She's taking off. That guy burned the shit out of me with coffee, and you guys still aren't doing anything. Have a great day. Thank you, dude. Do you want your case you know number? Yours? I don't want a case number. All of you. Every single one of you. Fucking You're trespassed, so you have to leave now. Women. Fuck you. You're trespassed. Fuck you. You have to leave. Fuck you. Do you want to go to jail? I didn't for people to be in your face, and you're not fucking do anything. I did nothing fucking wrong, and you fucking pieces of shit. Me to jail because he burned me with coffee. That's fucked up. What are you doing? Burn me and fucking hit me, and you guys don't do shit. Not a fucking thing. You guys don't even fucking protect women. Can you please buy me out? I got plenty of money, honey. Say shit. To the left when you said you understood your trespass and you wanted to leave. No, you guys still have it. Help me. Burn me with coffee. But he said that there's nothing you guys can do. He said that I'm the fucking problem. That's bullshit. When I talked to you out here, you said you wanted to leave. In the end, the surveillance footage contradicted her account of being a victim. The woman was charged with property trespassing after being cautioned. She was forced to face the legal consequences of her and it can also be an opportunity for them to gain a deeper understanding of the importance of legal compliance and respect for the community. Through this experience, one may come to realize that privilege never trumps the law and that acting entitled can lead to serious consequences. Hopefully, through this process, they can change their mindset and behavior becoming positive and responsible members of the community. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Don't forget to express your thoughts on the situations discussed. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.